name is Professor Dr. Frank Trottle. Most of you know me as the world's most eminent researcher in the field of wireless magnetism, but today I'm not here to... Can, can you stop that, please? It's just, I hate it when people... Uh, yeah. Anyway, today I'm not here to, to talk about my research. I'm here to talk about a hobby of mine, architecture. Now, in and of itself, having architecture as a hobby is, uh, of, of course, not a great surprise to many of you because, as a matter of fact, drawing a uh, cityscape such as the one behind me here is uh, pretty easy to do. A child could do it. Um, but the reason why I want to talk about it is because I think that architects uh, should be paid for what they do. Because uh, this, of course, enriches our lives. It makes cities look better. Um, but many architects struggle to make ends meet. Um, they're simply not paid enough for what they do. Uh, for me, of course, I'm only a hobby architect. Uh, but still, I, I believe that, as a matter of fact, you should be able to make a living uh, with architecture. So, I've done a lot of thinking and I've come up with a plan uh, to make this happen. This plan involves several steps. Okay, granted, uh, it's going to take a while for you to complete all these steps, but, uh, you know, it just costs you a little time. It's not the end of the world. First of all, you have to go to college. I, I know that this seems like an unnecessary step uh, because what are they going to teach you that you don't already know? But no, there, there actually is something that they will teach you. As a matter of fact, they will teach you how to make electricity. And what does that have to do with architecture? Well, it's very simple. Uh, once you know how to make electricity on your own, a, a byproduct of that is gold. We will find that out. Uh, many people don't know that, but yes, a, a byproduct of uh, sorry, these people. Are, a byproduct of making electricity is gold. Once you have a lot of this gold, what you do is that you go to China, and there you will pay people to build your skyscrapers for you in China. The reason is simply that. Once you have the skyscrapers up and people move in, you will become rich because they pay you the rent, but you don't have to pay your electricity bill because you can make your own. So you'll become rich. So this way you are doing a service to humanity, you know, building houses and uh, habitats for them, habitats for humanity, and at the same time, you, you can make money with your hobby architecture so you have more time for other things there is one thing that I that I have to uh, mention here in my plan you do need to have a Chinese girlfriend because you're not allowed as a foreigner to own any type of property in China uh, this isn't the problem for me I do have a Chinese girlfriend okay um, so that's that that this part of the plan is fine already if she were Japanese of course I would I would have to break up with her but um, she is Chinese, so that's that's good uh, there, you know. Of course, I'm not actually going to do it. I'm a scientist. I'm just a hobby uh, architect. I'm an amateur. Um, but I think some of you might want to, to try this and check this out. And uh, I wish you all the best. I hope you tune in again for my next uh, video where I'll give you more tips about life and uh, you can become as successful as me. I believe in you.